Saturday is National Nonprofit Day, and this week we're spotlighting some of our favorite nonprofits in the community. So every day we'll feature one. Lisa is going to talk about her favorite, which we know well, the Special Olympics yeah. Colorado. Such a great group, Lisa. Mm -hmm. And over the years, I've been more involved. I'm on the board now, and it's been so cool just to meet all these families, sending off these athletes to various competitions across the state. And they're awesome, by the way. Yeah, uh -huh. uh, from the Polar Plunge fundraiser, this one's fun. Each year I've emceed it, and then I've jumped ooh, too. And ooh, I, I watch everybody jump, and then I do it at the end, which is, is it's painful. Uh, you may not realize this, but Special Olympics is open to all ages. In fact, nearly one third of the athletes are 22 or older. So it's not just kids. Mm -hmm. They always need volunteers. Uh, anyone welcome. They serve uh, over 23,000 athletes and had more than 3,000 people do the plunge this year. We nice. have the plane pull coming up here yep. at the end of this oh, yeah. month, mm -hmm. plus the Hall of Fame in October, which I emcee, and that is I mean, by far my favorite event. You get these athletes up there, they get all their awards through the year, and it's just, yeah. it's awesome to see. The oh, Hall yeah. of Fame luncheon, you yep. do such yes. a good job emceeing it, and I will tell you, I laugh, I cry, I, know. I have the best time. You give a lot of high fives. It you is, get yeah. so yeah. many high fives, it's amazing. <laughs> well, and Kian and Andrew are typically my co-emcees, and those two make the show. I mean, so they're yes. just, they're awesome. Comedy duo. Yep, right. they are. <laughs>